بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The 24th juz or para of the Quran uh, continues on with Surah Al-Zumar uh, and as we mentioned previously, Surah Al-Zumar focuses on the Tawheed of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the importance of Al-Ikhlas. Uh, in the beginning of this juz, uh, in Surah Al-Zumar, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentioned something very, very important, and that is that uh, a person should never despair of the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. That is because Allah forgives all sins. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that we should not despair no matter how huge our sins have become. No matter how many sins uh, we have come with as long as we are coming to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance then Allah forgives all sins. In Allah yaghfiru al-dhunuba jami'a. Uh, Later on in the surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the hereafter. And we have a very vivid depiction of what will happen on that day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the disbelievers did not value Allah the value that He deserves. وَمَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْضَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ that they did not value Allah the value that He deserves. They did not estimate Him the estimate that He deserves. And yet, in His hand will be the heavens and the earth on that day, on the Day of Judgment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about how the trumpet will be blown. And then Allah concludes Surah Al-Zumar with a very, very uh, vivid uh, description of the end result of the two groups and the two camps. The camp of the disbelievers and how they will be dragged into the hellfire and thrown into the hellfire and then the camp of the believers and how uh, you know the believers will, will, will be brought to the gates of Jannah and the gates of Jannah will be opened before them and they will enter, they will praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they will witness the angels surrounding the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So ask yourself, which of these two groups do you want to be a part of? It's not an issue of hoping and wishing, but rather it is a matter of serious nature. Ask yourself, are you prepared? Are you prepared or what have you prepared uh, for that day when the people are either going to the hellfire or going to or going to Jannah? Do you want to be among those who are you know greeted at the gates of Jannah? Or uh, will you be lagging behind or will you end up in the hellfire? After that we have Surat Ghafir. Surat Ghafir uh, uh, basically uh, takes up most of the rest of this juz. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins the surah by mentioning uh, his forgiving nature and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives and how he accepts the repentance of those who uh, repent to him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions uh, the story of uh, Musa and Fir'aun and the uh, arrogance of Fir'aun and also the, the story of the believer from the family of Fir'aun and how uh, he called on his people telling them to believe in Musa alayhi salam uh, and the entire uh, you know the entire description of the the the, uh, the, the dialogue that took place between him and his people. And uh, also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in various places in this surah uh, uh, how the disbelievers argue and debate concerning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and the truth 
uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, also, we have, uh, we also have after that, um, uh, Surah Fussilat. Surah Fussilat uh, covers the remaining of this juz. And this surah basically focuses on uh, the themes of Surah Ghafir, and that is uh, basically uh, the truthfulness of the Qur'an, uh, the issue of Tawheed, and also uh, the resurrection after death. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the Qur'an uh, and the condition of those who reject the Qur'an. Also, there is mention of evil companions and uh, the fact that uh, these evil companions, they make kufr and disbelief and sins to become attractive to us. Also, we have uh, the importance of giving da'wah. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا Who is better than the one who uh, calls to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who gives da'wah. Uh, we also have the importance of good manners uh, and being patient. Uh, and also, uh, we have uh, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning that uh, his signs, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are there in the horizons and Allah will show us his signs in the horizons and so this is a prophecy that until the day of judgment Allah will continue to show his signs and this is something that we see in this day and age when scientific discoveries are showing us the truth of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent. And with that, we come to the end of this session. Until the next session, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.